Hello there, my friends. It's Christy with another installment of our Natural Wellness Mini Chats. So some of you know that I started doing these mini chats, um, I think two weeks ago when my son challenged me to get over my fear of recording myself. And today with it being 2 to 22 and it being a major manifestation abundance day, I wanted to do a short little video today and um, share with you guys some tips on balancing and grounding while manifest manifesting your dreams. So um, I'm the owner and operator of Envision Awaken. I am a certified reflexologist, a Reiki practitioner, and I have over a decade of experience in teaching essential oil wellness classes. Some of you may ask that, um, what is manifestation? Manifestation is a creative process where we are purposefully working towards our goals through believing with emotion that our goals are possible and bringing them to reality through attraction, beliefs, and inspired actions. It's not a magical process, even though a lot of people portray it that way. What it is is it's a process of staying in a place of positivity so that you're in your most powerful um, emotional state. Um, and it helps to aid you with seeing the smaller steps that you can take in order to reach the goals that you have. While, I was, while I've been doing manifestation over the last five to six years that I've been purposefully doing manifestation work, um, it has come to my attention that a lot of people get into manifestation and they get so excited, almost into an elated um, state that they get ungrounded and they get so much positivity and so much growth so quickly that it offsets other areas of their life which then causes an emotional imbalance and then causes a major crash. So I want to talk about some proper grounding techniques that you can use to stay in a balanced grounded state so that you can manifest in a way that you can stay more balanced and grounded. So of course with me having over 10 years of experience with essential oils I'm going to talk a little bit about essential oils first. Um, I personally use doTERRA essential oils, so I'm just going to talk about the couple of oils I like to use for balancing and grounding. I really love doTERRA's grounding blend, which is balance. It has a nice spruce type scent to it, so it's a very calm scent that most people enjoy, but it also brings you to a nice state of calm and focus. And I just really love this blend and it's one that a lot of people don't mind that it doesn't have an overpowering scent is what I'm saying. <laughs> so what I do for when I'm trying to get myself grounded or an emotional type benefit, I will put a drop on my wrists and I will cup my face and take some nice deep inhales and use the oil in that way because so, your olfactory system helps get it to your brain really, really quickly and give you those benefits for the grounding and balancing yourself out. So that one is one that I use, and I also love their Intune blend, which has a more earthy type tone, and that one's their Focus blend. That's another one I use. There's lots of different oils. You can use citrus oils for uplifting and getting yourself into a higher happy state, um, but I really like these ones. They're more earthy and keep you in a calm, grounded state, and and focused. I really like those. So that's something I do. My number one thing that I do for grounding and balancing, and this I came across when I started doing body work. So when I started doing the reflexology and the energy work, um, I discovered I was getting overheated when people would come in with certain energies and it would get me um, too attached to their emotional state. So um, I asked some friends for some tips on how to get myself to stay grounded so that when I was doing body work, I was not feeling overheated and unbalanced or even taking on their emotions. So, um, and that is doing some grounding techniques that are breathing exercises, maybe doing EFT tapping, or my number one is doing prayer and meditation. I do think it's extremely important for everybody to have spiritual practices that does not necessarily mean the same thing to all people, but having a space where you can be safe and act, ask for guidance, ask for God or whoever your higher power is, whether it's universe, to come to you, to help guide you for your highest good. I always ask for to be guided through my highest good for myself, but not only myself, but for everyone I interact with. So I ask for guidance in my thoughts, my words, my actions, and my touch. And that helps me stay 
in a space where I'm connected spiritually and staying grounded. Another thing that I do is I do active exercises that are grounding. So I do touching the floor and taking a deep breath and then reaching up to the sky and letting it all out and touching the floor and back up. And I will stretch out north and south and east and west the other direction and do stretches. I also will do all five zones of my body and I will run my hands down the center and work my way out on all five zones of my body. And this is something that I do every single day before I do body work or energy work with people. And I will do all five zones and do breathing as I'm doing all of that. Those are all things that I like to do. There are a lot of awesome ways to get yourself grounded out there. These are just a couple. Crystals are something that a lot of people get into. Instruments, I love using my singing bowls or chimes um, or tuning forks in order to do grounding with those. What I'm gonna ask today for everybody's action is I'm hoping that you guys can comment below with what you love to do for your grounding and share some other techniques. I would love to hear what you guys have. Um, that you do, but staying grounded when you're doing your manifestation work is definitely something you always want to be aware of. So I hope that you guys will comment below with what your favorite grounding techniques are. And also you can tell me your goals for manifestation for today's day of abundance for 2222. So please share, comment, and follow my page. So thank you. Have a great day.